hi guys welcome to my youtube channel tkf electronics i hope all are doing well so guys today i got for repair uh, one um, power supply it's not a normal power supply it's a special power supply for led wall uh, uh, screen so that uh, it's having you know the output is 5 volt see the output is 5 volt and ampere is 40 ampere see it is 5 volt DC output 40 ampere is output see huge ampere it is actually so this is small uh, consistent power supply which is giving 5 volt DC only output and 40 ampere is current so let's check it what is the issue in this I will supply the power in this just keep watching my video so guys I have already connected line 1 line and neutral uh, line so we will supply you know AC input here the power cord power going here so guys I have applied this check the voltage input voltage and there is no output. here is the input voltage see guys See guys, voltage is coming input, but there is no output. This three is minus, and this three is plus. See guys, it's not coming. See friend, it's not coming. See there is no output. I should supposed to get here plus five volt DC. It's not coming. So let's open it and check what's the issue inside. So start open one screw here so this cover will come see what's open so now we'll one two three four five there are five screws are there and one here so just unscrew those and the PCB will come out so guys I have already unscrewed everything we will take it out so here is the this is the primary section this is the secondary section so So guys first we will check this screw, uh, we will check this fuse over here. So guys this is the fuse, this two MOSFET, SMPS IC this is, all with modulator IC this is. So we will check all this first, <coughs> we will check on the buzzer range, we will check is the shorting or in the IC or MOSFET, this is the engine MOSFET. This is fuse. Fuse is good. Fuse is good, my dear. So these are the diodes, rectified diodes. We'll check. Is there any shorting? There is no shorting in the diodes. Diodes also good. MOSFETs, the internal MOSFET. Is there any shorting? There is no shortings, my dear. So friends, there is no shorting. Fuse good, rectifier good, internal MOSFET, both MOSFETs are good. How about the IC, the SMPS IC? This is the PWD IC, positive modulator. So here, is there any shorting, some pins? No. So it means, it means that, my friend, our primary section okay, will, will be okay. So we'll supply the voltage and we'll check we'll apply voltage input ac supply we'll check the voltages over here so guys now we'll apply ac input i have applied ac input so we'll check on the rectifier see guys on the rectifier is 320 volt dc bus voltage this is the main rectifier uh, main capacitor 
main filter capacitor so it means power is coming over here so how about the small capacitor this cap small capacitor uh, 100 mf 35 volt this one so we'll check voltage on this it's coming and going see guys coming and going see fluctuation is there 11 15 14 12 11 15 so this happens when when there is a shortage in the secondary section the voltage fluctuation in the primary is due to the shortage in the secondary section somewhere the shorting in the secondary section so now we will concentrate on the secondary side only we will check some ohms on the secondary side we will switch off first and friends whenever you are checking power supply any damage or shorted power supply check always in series do not check directly to the input AC power check in series only with the bulb with the help of bulb 100, 100 watt so it's it's safety so now we'll concentrate on the secondary side this is the secondary plus and minus 5 volt outside output voltage we'll just check is any shorting this side see guys there is a short shorting is there at the output see so now we'll check here they have used uh, N channel MOSFET only. This is the MOSFETs of N channel. Uh, because of this MOSFET, uh, normally what is happening rectif for rectifying output circuit, they are using diodes. But here in this in this power supply, they have used N channel MOSFETs. It's a four pin N channel MOSFETs. So we'll check over here only. See, this MOSFET is gone. So we have to disconnect one MOSFET. To confirm which is faulty so what I will do I will dismantle I will just dis disolder this one so guys, okay, nice. so guys now we'll start dismantling so now we'll check so the number of this is the number of this n channel MOSFET it's a 8 pin MOSFET M MDU1511 MDU1511 So now we'll check the is there a shorting here Before it was showing 0 ohms completely Now Now it is showing ohms but not 0 ohms it's, uh, Almost 65 ohms That is normal my friend This is normal So the problem with this only so it was showing completely 0 ohms before it was showing completely 0 ohms so now it is showing 65 ohms this is normal because of the resistor load resistor so now I have got the uh, same one MDU1511 same number so I will replace this one with the new one now I got the new one with me so guys this is the one so now I will solder this one now then we will check the output voltage of the 5 volt DC is coming or not. Just keep watching my video till end. So it means that only one only one uh, MOSFET or engine MOSFET is gone. This is okay because this normal 65 ohms showing. This is the load resistor. So only one is showing 0 ohms before. So I have already dismantled out. So now we will fix the new one. So first we will clean the area. This one. Just remove all the rust and everything so then we'll try to fix the new one so guys we'll clean this one first dust is there too much so now we'll fix new so now fix new one Check the number, number should be the same position, everything. So guys now fix this one. So be careful while fixing SMD part. The points 
The pins are so near us, so should not get shot. So guys, we have already soldered. We'll check one more time everything. So guys, the already soldered properly. So now we'll just clean the area. So guys, I already soldered the spring. So we'll check now. Not showing zero ohm shorting or fixing the new IC. Or uh, still same. Put on buzzer range only. Check the shorting. So it's showing 65 ohms. So before it was showing 0 ohms, my dear. So because of this n channel MOSFET, they have used MOSFETs n channel MOSFET to rectify the from AC to DC. Okay, guys, because this is a unique power supply for the LED wall TV, LED wall screen, not TV, so it's screen. Big screen will be there some on the wall so now we'll apply voltage and we'll check output voltage is coming we'll apply AC input voltage we'll check now so guys I have applied voltage AC voltage first we'll check AC voltage over here see now we'll see output See guys, file this output. It's coming. So now I'll pack it up, fix it back, and we'll check one more time. So fix it back. So guys, now we'll check again one more time. Everything is working or not. So guys, we'll check it out in the output voltage directly. See guys, it's working now. So like this we can sort out the problem of power supply okay guys thank you very much for liking my video uh, for watching my video and if, if you like it please uh, share it my video if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and sure press button bell button so that whenever I upload new video you will receive a notification of my new video so bye bye see you take care